<clears throat> okay hello cancerians how are you doing i'm doing you guys reading we're gonna see what's going on in your energy all right whatever comes out that's what we that's what we're going with you guys okay we're gonna see what's going on all right um like share hit the notification button to be notified when i post a video join if you'd like to be a member new viewers um, subscribe. I thank you for stopping by checking out my channel. Sit back, enjoy your reading. I hope you all can gain some insight on, you know, something that you need help in, on helping you move forward in the situation. Something, I hope you hear something that's going to uplift you. All right. Okay. Don't forget to check out the description box below. Um, uh, click on that Fitz Benefits site, especially if you're on a diet journey, you guys. Um, check that site out they have a lot of items it's growing the site the young lady's doing her thing so invest in this young lady you know if you see something that you like also refer her to others as well all right thank you much okay so um what i was hearing and feeling um, i'm feeling exhaustion tired some of you could be depressed um maybe sleepy you know tired you know maybe you need some sleep maybe some of you guys aren't sleeping enough something um bereavement i heard bereave bereavement um my um I'm some type of loss somebody could have walked away from you and you're sad depressed because of it um it could have been a loss some of you had and if so my condolences go out to you i'm sorry for your losses whether somebody walked away from you or whether somebody um transition um whew. yeah so that's what i'm picking up for you guys that's what i'm hearing bereave 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 it okay so um let's get let's see what the card says let's see what the cards the card already dropped out cancer's energy show me cancer's energy holy spirit thank you show me cancer's energy uh, cancer's energy <clears throat> cancer's energy maybe y'all are missing somebody some of you could be missing someone you know it could be that <laughs> some of you even losing sleep something okay the first card we have pisces hangman okay so that's your your first car hangman came out we have two of swords crossroads um gemini libra aquarius energy the um ten of swords is here gemini libra aquarius energy the empress is here this is libra the nine of swords is here Ooh, ugly cards. Nine of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energies. The Seven of Wands is here. Sag, Leo, Aries energy. Okay, so let's see. Let me look. Let's see. Something's not moving forward, okay? Either you're not moving forward in a situation and you're trying to get some enlightenment or you're needing to get some enlightenment um, to help you move forward in a situation or it's just something's not moving forward for you. Um yeah you're at a crossroads or this is a pisces that's in your energy or you have it in your chart it could be somebody in your energy that's not moving forward they're stagnant and they're trying to figure out how to move forward either this is you or somebody else in your energy two of swords is here um you're at a crossroads maybe concerning an air sign a gemini Libra, aquarius you know Either you or this person at a crossroads. You don't you, you're not seeing which way to go in a situation or how to get out of a situation, move forward from a situation. Um your intuition, you're needing to use your intuition. So this is what this could be saying. You're needing to get some enlightenment, a higher power, get, get the divine, a higher power, whatever you believe in to get you to help you move forward out of this intuition. I mean, to move forward in this situation. Somebody's feeling backstabbed, betrayed. Ten of Swords. Either you or this air sign. Somebody's feeling backstabbed, betrayed in this situation. And they're not they're, they're not knowing how to move forward, what, what to do in this situation. Empress is here. 
Yeah, they're feeling backstabbed by somebody they were they're in love with, a husband, a wife. You know, this could be a spouse or somebody that you're in love with. So somebody's feeling backstabbed and betrayed by somebody they're in love with or a spouse, a husband or a wife. And it's driving them crazy. Nine of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. They can't sleep at night. Look at this. You know, they don't see, see swords coming behind them, from up under them. You know, they're just feeling very betrayed, this person. And it has them not being able to sleep at night. It's, look at this. It's like this person has them wrapped around their finger. Deceit, just all around them. Deceit is all around them. This person is feeling like deceit is all around them. So either this is somebody um, in your energy. Maybe somebody feels like you're doing this to them. Or... Um, or this is you feeling like somebody's doing this to you. And it's having you up at night. So, you know, you guys should pick which side this is on. You or the person in your energy. If you're dealing with an air sign, a Libra, or a, it could be a Gemini, Aquarius. But this is a, a Libra. So you could be dealing with a Libra energy. The Seven of Wands is here. Maybe somebody felt like they were going to be your spouse, your husband or your wife. They're feeling betrayed or something. It could be that. Seven of Wands is here. Your wife or your husband or something like that. They felt like you, you know, that you, you guys were going to come together as one and it didn't happen and they're feeling betrayed. Then the Seven of Wands is here. Um, they can see you fending them off, or this is you. You're fending this person. Yeah. So somebody's feeling like somebody's fending somebody off. They're blocking the person. So I'm going to say this is this could be somebody feeling like a Pisces or um, a Libra. Or you got Pisces in your chart. Somebody's feeling betrayed. Somebody's feeling blocked, fended off, and they're in love with the person. Um, cancer's energy. The Ace of Pentacles is here. So you could be trying to figure out um, how to get a sex, successful new beginning with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, or somebody is, somebody's trying to figure out how to move forward in a successful new beginning of stability. Ace of Wands, yeah. Something they have a lot of passion for and they want a passionate new beginning. Either with this person or in, uh, yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This person is wanting a partnership of stability. Either you or this person. They want to come in and have a partnership of stability. Or you want this with this person that's blocking you. It's um, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Six of Wands is here. Okay? Sag Leo Aries energy. They're wanting to charge for it in a in a uh, in a victory. This is what this person is wanting in a partnership of stability. Um, judgment. This is something that's dead. Okay, and and there's a reconcile. Somebody wants to reconcile either you or this person. It could go either way. This could either be you feeling this way or this person is feeling this way. They want you to stop blocking them, or you want this person to stop blocking you, stop pinning you off. So you can move forward successfully in a passionate new beginning with this person, as well as working on a partnership of stability. So you want you or the person wants to be with you. You either want to be with this person or this person is coming in wanting to be with you. Ten of Cups. This person wants a family foundation, a reconciliation in a family foundation. Ten of Cups here. This is... um. Yeah, this is either you wanting this with this person or this person wanting this with you. Queen of Cups is here. Scorpio energy. Somebody's up and down in their emotions over this, okay? 
Somebody's up and down in their emotions. Um, the devil is here. They're obsessed over getting this um this victory, this reconciliation off the ground. They're obsessed over this. You could see this person having addictions if it's you, if if it's this person wanting to be with you. You can see this person is being toxic, and that's why you're sending them off. You want nothing to do with them. You may feel like this person has some addictions they need to work on, concern themselves. Or the other person is um, blocking you because they see you as toxic. They see you having addictions that you need to work on. All right? So it's either way. And somebody could be angry. Whoever the person is, whether it's you or the other person, they're angry. You know, because they're not getting what they want in this situation and it has them in their emotions. Um, the five of pentacles is here. They miss you. Somebody could be going through a financial struggle, a financial drought. Somebody could be feeling ignored. And th this person could be attention needy, either you or the other person. Okay. So it's either, I'm going to tell you the signs this year. It's either um, Pisces, uh, Libra. It could be a Gemini. Aquarius energy could be, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We got um, Sag, Leo, Aries energy here. We have um, Scorpio energy here. Okay, so those are the signs we have here. Um, show me more of Cancer's energy. So somebody's upset. You guys gonna have to, if it's you, this if it resonates with, with you, and you know you're not the one that's in stagnant mode, not able to move forward with someone that you know somebody that um you're dealing with is wanting this with you it's whoever you're fending off okay if you're fending off somebody you know is you the one that um don't does not want anything to do with the person so it's either you're the one that's fending somebody off or you're the one that's stagnated not being able to move forward with someone okay so we have the prince of pentacles is here okay You could be planning, strategizing, plotting how to offer some type of stability to this person that's sending you off, or they're doing this with you, trying to figure out how to offer something to you um, on concerning a new beginning of growth that they want with you. Okay. Okay, this one hit the floor here, a queen of wands. Yeah, you find this person very attractive, beautiful, stable, secure within yourself. Yeah, this is why you want this stability with this person, you know? So you're not, you're trying to figure out how to get this new beginning of growth and stability with this person. Or this is how they feel about you. And it could be a Leo, somebody with Leo in their chart. Or you have Leo in yours. Okay, nine of pentacles is here. Virgo energy is here. Okay. Somebody may have been focused on being single at one time or this person. Maybe they just want to be single. It's all about themselves. They're nurturing themselves, you know. They're very independent. They don't need help from nobody. They don't want help from nobody. They want to do it themselves. Yeah. They just focus on themselves. Wanting, you know, wanting to um, grow in abundance on their own. They don't, maybe they don't want to have to share it with anybody or something of that nature. If this, if you're the one that's being fended off. And if you, if it's you, the one that's stagnant, um, not being able to move forward with this person and they're fending you off, you, this is how you're seeing this person. Beautiful, secure, stable. The Nine of Pentacles, you're seeing them. You could be watching this person from afar and you see them just being very abundant, being independent, strong, and that's attracting you. That attracts you to this person. And they're, they're, they're strong, independent, and you see them growing successfully on their own. And that, that turns you on. That makes you want to be with this person even more. Okay. Um, the Five of Swords is here. But there's some defeat here. You're feeling defeated. Okay? If it's you, you're feeling defeated because um, you you don't know how to move forward. The person fending you off. So you're feeling defeated. And being able to get this off the ground. And if it's the other person, that if, um, if you're fending this person off, they're feeling the same way. They're feeling defeated. Okay? Or they may see you, okay? 
This person is wanting stability with you if it's you fending them off because they see you putting abundance in their life, making them, um, nurturing them. They want you to be, nurture them. Maybe you used to give this person money or something and they want to continue to get that nourishment from you. Nurtured, spoiled, you know? But yeah, you may you may make this person when they feel insecure. They could be a very this person could be an insecure type person, and you make them feel secure. Maybe you tell them that they're beautiful. You know, you nurture them mentally and physically because you could give them money, and then you tell them good things about themselves mentally. So you make them feel secure when they're when they're really an insecure person, and you uplift this person, and this is why they want to be with you as well. Okay. And then you spoil them. They could look luxurious because you give them what they want. Okay. Um, cancer's energy. Uh, cancer's energy. So then we have the princes of wands. Okay, this person, um, if it's you fitting them off, this person wants you to take a risk with them. Um they may come in if they to get whatever they can get your attention. If they can get your attention, they can tempt you. This person can tempt you. Um, they may have a lot of passion for you, but it's something about this person. They could be cruel at times, so maybe that's the part of them that you don't like. They could become unstable when they don't get what they want as well. All right. Okay, and maybe you used to want to take a risk with this person, but you might have start seeing their toxic side, the devil energy, Capricorn energy. So Capricorn is here as well. So somebody could be a Capricorn as well, or you can have it in your chart. But yeah, you can start seeing their devil side, you know? The, something that you're like, oh no, I can't deal with this. You know, the unstable side of this person. All right? And if they're fending you off, maybe they used to want to take a risk with you, you know? And um, they may come in trying to tempt you to get what they want, okay? Maybe you have a lot of passion for this person and they know they could tempt you. But you see the unstable side of this person and the cruel side of this person when they don't get what they want, so you don't want nothing to do with them, all right? Or, um, oh yeah, if they wanted you, if, um, they're fending you off, um, they may see you being toxic for some reason. Maybe you're attached to somebody else. There could be the devil is somebody being attached to someone else. So maybe that's why they don't want nothing to do with you because you're attached to someone else. You're changed to someone else, but you may have an obsession over them. But they may want you to release whoever you're you're attached to. Uh, three of Pentacles is here, so yeah, yeah. Third party could be here as well, and this person could be going to come in and announce to you what they want. They want a family foundation with you, or this is what you're ready to do. You want to just go into this person and announce to them that you want a reconciliation. You know, all right. So that's what I have right there. So now we're gonna um. Okay, we're going to shuffle some cards and see what else comes out. See what other information we can get for you guys. Okay, um, Cancer's Energy. Show me Cancer's Energy, please. Mm, show me Cancer's Energy. Okay, there we go. There go that devil. Okay, somebody could be angry. Okay, um, somebody could, could be angry in this situation. The devil card. In the Knight of Swords, and they're going to come rushing in, saying some not, not too nice things. An uh, argument could occur with this person. Gemini energy. All right. So some of you guys may come in and encounter. This is Capricorn and Gemini energy. So somebody's angry, upset, and they're coming in with some strong words that may not be too nice. They're coming in with an argument. All right. It's like they're ready to fight. They're ready to argue. So you you could encounter that. That's for somebody. Um, Cancer's energy. Okay, what do we have here? Yeah, somebody's in their emotions about a, a cycle ending. 
This is you, Cancer, King of Cups. It's your energy. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. King of Cups, usually a Cancer. Um, you could be up and down about a um, in your emotions on a situation where somebody wants to end the cycle because they want to embark on a new beginning somewhere else. Or some of you guys could be in your emotions um, or seeking affection from somebody that you're interacting with on social media, maybe dating site, online. All right. Or this is how somebody's feeling about you. Maybe somebody you're in, interacting with online or on social media. This person is um, building emotions for you. Okay. Okay. Um, Cancer's energy, please. To a rod, fire, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Okay. Somebody's at a distance from you trying to make some type of decision, okay? Whether either maybe to move, to be with you, or to move forward in a relationship with you, or to stay single. A Virgo energy. They're trying to make some decision whether to move, um, to be with you, um, or to stay single. So somebody's, somebody's trying to make that decision. If you're dealing with a Virgo... Or a fire sign, Sagittarius or Aries, they could have fire, Virgo in their chart. They're trying to make a decision whether to uh, move towards you or um, to stay single. Let me go another card. Um, clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Pisces energy here. Okay, so this person may. Um, yeah, this may be somebody that you want to run it, rush into and ex express that you love this person. Or this is somebody you already expressed that you love. The sun card. Yeah, this is somebody that makes you happy. They're trying to make a decision whether to, to move, forward, move forward with you or to stay single. All right. So this is somebody you love that you've been offering love to, expressing love to. This is somebody that makes you happy. But they're trying to make a decision because they don't know. They're trying to make a decision. Do they want to be, in other words, do they want to be tied down or do they want to stay single? Okay. Um, Cancer's energy. Okay, we have the Page of Swords here. Gemini energy. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles here. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. We have the Ace of Swords, Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. And then we have the Six of Cups, Cancer energy. This is your energy right here. Okay, so there's somebody um, keeping very close tabs on you. Um... Or it could be a situation or you're doing this to this person. You could be keeping very close tabs on this person, watching this person, switch it to whoever resonates, switch it to whichever way it's going on. Um, it could be a lot of arguing between you and this person. This person could have their guard up with you. And this is somebody that you want a new beginning of growth with. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay. And, um... You're trying to gain some clarity um, on how to get a successful new beginning with this person. And this is somebody from your past or this is what this person is doing. This person could be doing this to you. They could want a new beginning of growth. If you're dealing with a Gemini, they're watching you very closely. They're trying to figure out how to get a new beginning of growth with you. Okay, this is somebody from your past. There's somebody from your past, a soulmate. You could have grown up with the person, worked with the person in the past, or you could have met them out somewhere, you know. But this person is keeping close tabs on you. They watch you very closely. Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Um, Cancer's energy. Show me Cancer's energy. Okay. Ten of Pentacles. 
So there's somebody that's very comfortable with someone. Let's see. Okay. Okay, somebody you you either are with this person currently, all right? Um, somebody that's very comfortable with you that you could have stability, comfort, and security with already. Um, they're wanting to heal things with you. They're wanting your forgiveness for something they may have done. Um, or this is somebody that you used to have this with. But whichever way it is, they want forgiveness. Um, they want to heal things with you and they're coming in with some communication. Then we have the Ace of Cups here. Um, you're their fulfillment. This person doesn't want to lose you. They're very comfortable with you. They feel safe, secure with you. They don't want to lose you. They want to heal things. They want your forgiveness. All right. And they're going to communicate to you that you're everything they want to need in a person. You know, you're their fulfillment. Ace of Cups. Okay. They want a new beginning with you. They can't sleep at night, nine of swords, giving out evil Aquarius energy. This person is up at night worrying about you, worried about um being able to heal things with you. They cannot sleep. They can't move forward without you. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want this successful new beginning of stability to work. You know, they want it. Death card after an ending, you know. This this may have took this person through a, a transformation. A change within themselves, a spiritual, you know, a change for the better. Maybe they looked at, went inside themselves and looked at the negative things about themselves. Okay? Where it, it made them change some things to get this new beginning with you. This person has went through a rebirth so they can get a new beginning off the ground with you. Page of Cups is here. This is maybe some good news for you because maybe this is something you've been waiting on. Page of Cups is here. Pisces energy. So they're coming in with some communication. All right. So this may be some good news for you. Because this card is the card of good news. So they're going to contact you either by phone. You may get a text message or face-to-face -face contact with this person. So it's either good news for you or this is just saying that this person is going to contact you. All right. You're going to get some type of contact with this person where they're going to communicate to you how they feel. Okay. Cancer's energy. Show me more of Cancer's energy, please. The moon card is here. Somebody's depressed. There could be depressions here. Somebody's keeping secrets from you. Or something's going to be illuminated to you. The nine of rods, yeah. Somebody's going through a depression. This could be you, Cancer. Or they're, they're depressed over you. They're going through a mental, physical struggle. Or the, the situation that you're going through, if you are depressed, um, you almost threw that. Hang in there, hold on. You're almost, you know, you're going to make it through this depression. Um, the Knight of Rods. Okay. It could be concerning somebody that innerly satisfies you, you know, and you're holding on to this person. You don't want to let them go. Or this is how somebody's feeling about you. The Seven of Rods. Okay. This person is fending you off. Or you're fending somebody off. Sag Leo Aries energy. Okay. They're blocked. They want to come in to you, but they're blocked. They can't. Or you're fending them off. Or this is you. Somebody's fending you off and it has you in a state of depression. And you want this person to stop fending you off. Five of rods. Yeah, because it's a lot of arguments and confusion going on between you and this person. Five of rods. You may fend them off because they like to fuss and argue too much. Sag Leo Aries energy. Yeah, they may keep a lot of confusion going, drama going. So you just send this person off. And they're depressed about it. They want another chance. The full card. They want you to, this Aries energy, this person's coming in wanting another chance. So yeah, this is somebody that's depressed over you. And if it's not them, then this could be you. And if you're just being told, hang in there, you're going to get over this situation. Um, this person may, you know, and telling you why the person is blocking you, you know. But I, this is somebody feeling this way about you. It's going to be illuminated to you. that somebody's going through a physical, mental struggle over you. And they're trying to hold on to you that you literally sassed by this person like, the sex or what, whatever it is you did to this person, the sex was good to this person. Okay. 
Yeah, maybe you made this person feel very confident about themselves. But then you block them off because they argue too much. They keep up too much confusion, too much drama. Um, some of you, it could be a family member. Maybe it, it could be family. Aries energy is here. So maybe you have a family member or just a, a, a fire sign that you're dealing with. You you argue with this person a lot. They take you through a, a mental and physical struggle. Or this is how they're going. This is what they maybe that's what it is. Maybe they take you through a, a struggle mentally and physically. So you let it go, you know? You start blocking. You start blocking. But somebody coming in wanting another chance. Right, whichever way it is, whether it's a person you were dealing with romantically, um, or it's a, it could be family, and maybe it, it, it tore it, it wore on your confidence, you know what I'm saying? It messed with your confidence, all this arguing and fussing, so you block these people, okay? All right. So that's either a relationship or it could be a family. It, somebody having issues with family members. But there's going to be another chance coming around the full card. Maybe to mend things. If it's a family, it's to mend things. Um, if it's a relationship, somebody coming back around. Aries is coming back around for another chance. Um, Cancer's energy. I'm going to throw one more set of cards on here. Hey, um, Aries. I mean, um, oops. I'm talking about Aries. Okay, Cancer's energy, please. Give me Cancer's. Give me Cancer's energy. Okay, so you have a Taurus, Queen of Pentacles, okay, who finds you to be very nur nurturing. Um, the Queen of Cups, Scorpio energy, they can have Scorpio in their chart, or that's you, or this person is holding on to you. They're holding on to you because you're very nurturing to this person. These are two nurturing cards side by side. Maybe you give them good motherly or fatherly advice as well. You make this person feel secure. You make them feel stable, you know, and that's why they hold on to you. You're very nurturing to this person. Okay. The magician is here. They, this person may be doing some little love spells um, to, to get stability with you. This person is wanting stability with you. All right. King of Swords is here. They're going to speak some truth to you. They're going to express to you how they feel. Okay? They're coming in. Some conversation is coming in from this person. Libra energy here. All right? Because you nurture them. They, they want stability with you. They're holding on to you. Scorpio energy. Taurus, Scorpio. Aries energy here. Okay? This person is manifesting you. They could be doing some little love spells. Okay? To get what they want. To keep getting that nourishment from you. They're coming in. They're coming in to speak some type of truth to you. And this fell out. The five of cups. They miss you. This person misses you. So this somebody you're not you're not in contact with or you're not seeing this person. They miss you. They're coming in. They're coming back around. All right. So cancers, that's what I have for you. I hope you guys um heard something you wanted to hear, something to uplift you. Um to help you in a situation you may be stuck in, which that was the reading was about. All right. So like, share, hit the notification again. Um, and you guys have a blessed week ahead. I hope, I hope something can help you guys. All right. So I'm out. Be good. Love you guys.